Disclaimer, I will be counting calories, but only for the sake of this video. Don't let calories define you. Jumping out of whip shit cold. Watching my step ground froze. Most my day spent long. So about a year ago, I just casually watched a YouTube video and it told me based on my weight and my height how many calories I should be eating every single day. So my stupid little self put in my weight 123 pounds and my height 5 foot 1. I know, really sad, but don't make fun of me. And it came out that I should be eating 1,600 calories a day to lose weight. And remember that number just became my entire life. I tracked everything I ate, like every single grape I counted, which is crazy. And whenever I would eat over 1,600 calories, I felt so bad and so guilty and I would basically starve myself for the next day until I felt that I was on average eating the right amount of calories. And did I lose weight during that time? Well, yeah, duh, I lost weight. I mean, I wasn't eating, so if you don't eat, you're gonna lose weight. But it's simply just not sustainable. Every day I would purposely eat dinner early so that I could be eating my stupid, boring kale salad while my family was eating all that delicious bowls of meat bread and everything that I eat now. And to make matters worse, I always thought I had to be active, exercise constantly so every single day I would run like two hours on my treadmill and then afterwards do weight training and while exercise is really important and everything it should never be something that's so burdening and something that you feel like you have to do or else you're not gonna be able to live to the next day the change to my carefree life now wasn't that easy when I first stopped counting calories, I didn't need the scale to still know how many calories were in the foods I was eating. I'd been counting for so long. So I still had like this idea of what was unhealthy and healthy and avoided everything that I thought had too much oil or salt. And I just basically restricted myself to only fruits and veggies, even though I wasn't counting. But you know what? Progress is progress. I lived like that for about six months. And then gradually I started eating more chocolate and more cookies. And the guilt that was associated to those delicious treats started to minimize themselves and so I finally feel like I can eat these whenever I want yeah sure I might be gaining weight heck I'm already five pounds heavier this week than I was last week but you know what that's fine maybe that means my body just wants me to eat more or it can mean that I'm gonna grow soon so let's hope it's the latter all night you just wanna get high next day you forgot that I told you that this my niche play my role what you hold little boy best on reach God, this is getting too inspirational and sappy for me. Maybe I'll just go back to narrating foods. So on this morning, I decided to have oatmeal and I planned for it to be beautiful, golden kiwi and strawberries, but it turned out that my golden kiwis were so expired and disgusting, so it's just strawberries. So I added some chocolate chips because I love chocolate and I don't care that it's an additional 80 calories. And then this is kind of weird, but some random person shipped us this box of dried fruits and nuts. Like to this day, we don't know who gave it to us, whether it was my mom's company or, or like some random person accidentally sent it to us. I don't know, but I enjoyed it very much. And then for lunch, I had a ton of veggies, definitely more than pictured. And then as a snack, I obviously had to have my green grapes because I just can't live a day without these. And then I had a persimmon and also some cashews. And then for dinner, my amazing dad got really creative and made us some homemade pho. So we have like a ton of veggies and also some beef broth, I think, and also some noodles. And this is the difference between my brother's bowl, which is like all meat, as you can see. And then this is my bowl, which is stunning with a lot of vegetables and nutrients. And then as a snack, I had some of these dried plums. And as you can see, we're basically like already done with this entire box of dried fruit, like in one day, kind of scary. But I wanted to try everything, so I did. And ever since I've been fired, I do have a lot more time so I can exercise basically every day. And unlike one year ago, I actually enjoy it now because I exercise like the way I eat, just whatever I want. So if one day I'm feeling like I want to do some core, then I'll work on my core. If one day I want to work on my arms, I'll work on my arm. And if one day I'm feeling really into it, I'll do 40 minutes. If I'm not into it, I'll only do 10. Just depends on how I'm feeling. With that said, however, please don't say, oh, I'm feeling lazy, so I'm not gonna exercise ever. That's not a good mentality. That's just called laziness, guys. Because we should listen to our bodies, but also somewhat try to have a sort of active lifestyle because our future healthcare bills are really begging us. So the next morning, I had my favorite PB and banana toast, and then I had my vitamins and grapes. And then for lunch, I had a ton of veggies, so that's onions, eggs, oh, eggs are totally veggies, but also Napa cabbage. And the thing is, I eat a lot of veggies, and in no way am I eating veggies and fruits just because I'm 
restricting myself or only eating healthy foods. No, I eat veggies and fruits because I love them. They're so much better than this dried peanut butter that I'm currently eating. <laughs> So then we decided to make chive and egg bread. So as you can see, we just mix up scrambled eggs, mushrooms, and chives. And then we roll out the dough, which is basically just water and flour, honestly. And then we wrap it up like this. And usually you'd make it in like the size of your palm, but we are rebels, so we make them huge. <laughs> like ourselves, sometimes our chive and egg breads are not always perfect. Like look at this one. But alongside that, I also had some veggies, some soup, and some pork. And look how big this thing is. It's like three times the size of my head. Damn, and I have a big head. So the next morning, I'm gonna start out with some cereal. And I've heard so many times that cereal is just a bowl of empty calories because it's just all sugar. But you know what? It tastes good, so I'm gonna eat it. Sorry. And I also add a banana on top because it also tastes good. Then I also had a macaron and grapes. And then afterwards, I had a tiny bit of dried mango, and then I also had some hot pot. Just to add some veggies in there, we also had some green beans and bok choy. Two hours later, I got a little hungry, so I ate a half a pomelo. And also, I had some dried strawberries. Please ignore the random vodka on the floor. And then for dinner, I had some tomato and eggs, some random veggie and carrots, some chicken, and some green beans. So now it's workout time. Basically, I only choose no repeat HIIT or high interval, whoa, high intensity interval trainings because I just hate being bored. Like honestly, working out can be really boring if you just end up one, running for two hours on a treadmill, cough, cough, Annie from one year ago, or also just doing like one hour of burpees, which I find a lot of these videos often are. Oh, and yeah, I always look like a sweaty mess after working out. So the next morning, I decided to have some bread. And we all know that bread is not like the highest nutritious food out there. Like it's basically just water and flour and sometimes butter and sugar like this one. But I love it so, so much. Like it's so nice and soft and fluffy. And that's all I'm going for in life. And then afterwards, I had macarons, green grapes. And then for lunch, I had some curry and some veggies and tofu. After three bowls, I was still kind of hungry, so I brought out a slice of bread. Then I also had half of an apple pear, which is basically a pear, but kind of crispy. So I guess they call it an apple pear. And then for dinner, I had really watery curry, some cucumbers, some broccoli, and some celery. I know it sounds like I'm eating like a straight up bunny, but trust me, if you stir fry anything correctly, literally everything will taste good. Then afterwards, I had some strawberries, some cranberries, and also some chocolate chips. Why did all the real ones go? Why is my night so slow? The next morning, I decided to have cereal again. Wow, I'm feeling really productive these days. So basically, it's just cereal and some strawberries on top. And I also always add almond milk rather than the actual milk. Not because I'm on a diet, but because if I eat actual milk, I would be attending Zoom school from my bathroom. I hope you're still in the mood to look at food. But anyways, I had green grapes. And then for lunch, I had this beautiful bowl of tofu, rice, and veggies. And then as a mini dessert, I had some chocolate chips and also an apple. Driving perfect circles. For dinner, my dad really outdid himself with this amazing looking pad thai and I chose what veggies should go on top and then he like individually stir fried everyone's. Oh my god, he's so nice. And I had two bowls of that. And then the last thing I had that day was just a bowl of strawberries. For the last day, I obviously have to bring out the most interesting breakfast ever. So, avocado toast it is. Okay, but jokes aside, I'm so sorry this is so basic, but I love avocado toast and this is realistic what I eat in a day, so please don't attack me. And then while my mouth was covered with everything but the bagel seasoning, I had my vitamins and also a macaron. 
and then I had my green grapes, and then for lunch, I had a bowl of eggplant and a ton of squash. And even though it looks kind of boring and dull, it was so good, and as you can see, I finished up that entire pot. And then I had a persimmon, and afterwards, I also had a banana. And then for the final meal, I had a huge pot of pork, chicken, potatoes, and carrots, and also some bok choy. And as you can see, I don't leave any leftovers in this house. And to finish everything off, I did a 30 minute advanced HIIT workout. And some of the moves were kind of questionable, but it got me feeling active, and that's all that really matters. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, everybody is different, don't compare yourself to others, and have a good day. Put your head on my shoulder.